guys, Captain Stu Calder here, Goal Leader Guide Service, Goal Leader Custom Baits, based out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Today I'm going to pour a crawdad, and I'm going to pour it in a laminate, and I'll get you in there, get you the colors, and let you see what we got, do the whole spiel, get through it. If you think about it, don't forget to like and share, also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for joining me today, let's get in the garage, see what we can get done. I got the back color all done, and here it is. It is a green pumpkin. I'll show it to you. Green pumpkin 109 by Lure Works. Diamond pearl red 219 by Lure Works. And this one I added some copper 40 thousandths hex cut glitter to it. And look at that. I think that's going to be a pretty nice back to a crawdad so let me get a couple of these molds set up we'll get them ready to go got a couple of molds here for you let me slide that back just a touch make sure they're in the middle of the screen and i'm just gonna fill i'm gonna fill this main cavity and that's all i'm doing and the rest of it is going to be my next color. Just kind of get it up to a nice level. This thing, oh, what was that all about? I think I had a glob come out of there. There we go. There we go. Right. So there's my initial pour. That is going to be just the belly, I mean the backs. I'm going to come in and I'll get ready and pour the um, bottoms and the legs and the claws and the bottom will be a different color and we'll get them all done. All right. See you guys when I get done pouring all of these over here. All right. See you all in a minute. So this is going to be my second color. It's actually Lure Works Scarlet Red 105. Lure Works Black 40 thousandths hex cut. And that's going to be my reddish bottom on it. Oh yeah. So let me get a few of those guys lined up in the zone here. And then we'll get to pouring a few of these. Got me a couple of molds there. They're set up and ready to go. Let's pour us a few here. See what we got. See how I can do this. Of course, on camera, this is always a little harder. And I don't worry about a bunch of overpour on them legs. Because I'm going to come back and trim them up anyway. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. Alright, let me see here. Oop, oop. Hit my head on my cabinet when I did that. Didn't quite help too much. Let's get these cavities filled in real well. All right. See if I can pour this one without banging my head on the cabinet. Oh yeah, much better. This leg's filled in real well. Keep this plastic moving up here. Oh yeah. Here we go. I 
I'm sure somebody like Chris Jones or somebody like that could probably pour this a lot better than me, but you know what? I'm still learning. Maybe one day I'll be as good. I got a long way to go before that happens though. Long, long way to go. Let's get these things filled in here. guy down here and then I'll bring you out let's take a peek and like I said I ain't too worried about these legs running over I'm gonna come back and trim these things out anyway all right okay so there we go, there's the bottom to them. We got our green pumpkin top with the red pearl and the copper flake. This will be our red bottom, kind of a dark. I think it's gonna be a gorgeous looking crawdad when I get done with this. All right, so I'm gonna pour the rest of these. When I do, let them cool, all that good stuff. Bring everybody back for the reveal here in just a little bit. Here they are. They are hot, boy. I've got them all heated back up. Now they're gonna, they're bonding. I've got them all brought back to temperature. Got them nice and hot. I'm gonna let them sit. I got to let them cool. If I come anywhere close to touching them, they're just gonna light me up. So, yep, they are hot. They're bonding those layers, and as soon as they cool down, I've got them all touching so they'll cool really slowly so they're all sharing heat right now. And that's what I want. I want them to share that heat, cool down nice and slow. And when they do, we'll pull them, see how they look, get the reveal, go from there and get to the end of this. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. All right, here they are. Here's the crawdads. I think it's time for us to grab one and pull them and see how that color combo came out. Let's see. Let's grab one here. And I'll get them out in the sunlight tomorrow. It's already into the evening. And it's dark, so I'll just get you this. And then whenever I get to do our big tray shot, and we'll see how they come out. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So it's got that green pumpkin back. Let's see if I can get you a better. There it is. That green pumpkin back with the copper flake in it and that red highlight pearl. Then it's got that red bottom on it. Wow, they're still sticky because they just cooled off. I like that. I think that's going to work really good. That green with that little copper flash in it for some dirty water. Absolutely. That red. Look at that red on the bottom. Reacting with that green. The green actually makes it darker. It's actually a lot darker than what I... The worms I poured in that same color. I haven't showed y'all those yet, but they came out lot lighter look at that oh yeah so green pumpkin and then that one is red scarlet 105 got them all done and pulled out sitting on the tray for you there they 
There's the tray shot. Let's grab one here. Take a look at them here. Try to get them in the light for you. So there's that Carolina pumpkin back with that copper flake in it. Then I've got that. Kind of turns out to be a plum color. Kind of darkened it a little bit, which is nice. With that red with the black flake in it and the crawdad. And here they are. Ready to go. Thank you for joining me today in my video. Remember to click that like and share button. Oh, almost dropped it. Get that notification button for me. How about subscribing to the channel? You can get in touch with me at goldleaderfishing at gmail.com. Also, you can go to my Instagram account at Gold Leader Fishing. Find me on Facebook at Gold Leader Fishing. Message me. I'll get them sent out to you. These guys will be ready to go. I've designed these for a twist lock hook to fit into the back right here. Bring it out the top. Use it with a 16th ounce belly weight. Plenty of weight. Gets it down. Great for pitching around cypress stumps and knees. And yeah, I've been using these in the river and they're working great. So get in touch. I'll get them sent out to you. Thanks guys. See you next video.